Good morning, folks. Chapter 1 of Star Water discusses water and the potential for life in our solar system. These authors have likely never seen Star Water, my website, or this channel, but they've managed to write a paper that could be a direct response or complement to the ideas in Chapter 1. Water is more abundant on Europa and many other moons than most people know, most who haven't seen Star Water, that is. This discusses landing on Europa and what the findings might be. NASA Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio has two new animations. This one and the explanation linked for you show fire intensity and the energy generated around the events. They also put out an evaporation prediction map for North America. This is one way you can tell that they're still focused on heat amidst the climate extremes, at least looking forward to 2100. NOAA's Scientific Visualization Studio is top notch as well. Here, revealing water temperatures in the Atlantic. However, it's shown in the context of Atlantic hurricane predictions. Predicted to be very strong, reaffirmed here, even as we've had only one or two minor events in the Atlantic, while we've spent days trying to figure out if the eighth or ninth storm in the Pacific is going to tag Hawaii. Most are saying no, even still she is weakening. Brand new tropical system in the east, this one preliminarily headed for Hong Kong. Top watch. Here's the cell moving south to the North Island of New Zealand. Europe is the same story as yesterday with heat east and major storms as the convergence crosses the continent. You need to check local weather conditions here. Latest drought look updated from drought.gov. Soil moisture indicates it's worst out west. The air masses meeting along the eastern coast and down through the gulf today. More flooding potential in the east central states. See the density, speed, and plasma temperature of the solar wind rise. I think this is a weak glancing blow from this eruption here, but we'll come back to CMEs. GOES shows flaring is nil. Primary active region is turning away today, and I bet you can tell that even this developed beta region is perfectly separated magnetically and therefore less likely to fire. But in fact, it already has. In the wake of whatever is hitting now will come one, and then two. The second more visible and definitively bigger than the first from the south central active region. You can really see the breadth of ejecta affecting the solar surface for hundreds of thousands of miles. NASA's endless spiral shows this burst to be headed our way, but as before, not a direct hit and not terribly large. Even still, taking what we're taking now, followed by those double CME impact nose endless spirals showing here, Aurora Watch and geomagnetic storms are likely to follow. That energy influx will work its way to our core via the magnetic field, around the same time the umbral opening shows wide and the coronal holes cometh. We can see them now. Hello beastie up there on the top left. Quake watch score was 5 last night, we're at 6 today and trending upward. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55am eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.